We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you once again with another message that will bless you and help you to go to a greater glory. We serve a God who speaks and he lives. He is the God who does miracles, signs and wonders and he delivers us. When we are in trouble, it is important to know that we can call on him and he will help us. My dear friend, today I want to pray for you special prayers to get back up, keep going, and win. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Lift up your hands as a sign of surrender and just begin to welcome the Holy Spirit in your own words. Precious Holy Spirit, I welcome you in the studio to take over control, lead us closer to Jesus. I welcome you in that place where my dear friend is watching. We know distance and time is not a barrier for you. Help my dear friend to get closer to Jesus. Amen. My dear friend, life has many troubles and these troubles can knock you down. They can put you in a space which is a defining and a character building moment. Now an important question arises and that is what do you do in those moments? Do you give up or do you get up and keep on going? I want to address this today. The Bible says in the book of James chapter 1 from verse 2 to verse 3, it says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. My dear friend, I want to tell you today, if you are in a space where you are going through numerous trials or you are simply just trying to push on ahead but so many things are going wrong, profit from those trials, benefit from those trials, don't waste them. Allow them to develop your character. You see, character is properly developed when you face a setback and choose to get up and push on instead of giving up. I'll say that once again. Character is properly developed when you face a setback and you choose to get up and push on instead of giving up. The book of 1 Peter chapter 1 from verse 6 to verse 7 says, In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. I'll read this to you once again. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. My dear friend, always remember that if you give up when faced with a trial, then you remain at that level. You remain at the same level. But if you dig down deep, and find the courage and the strength to get up and push on forward. Then you go to another level. You see, the grace of God is sufficient. And the Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, it says, And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. You see, as born-again believers, there is power that is released to you in tough times. And this power enables you to fight on and to keep on going. So even though you may feel weak, remember, in your weakness, God's power is made perfect. If you are able to get up and say 
no matter what happens, I will trust God. I will press on. Then no good thing will be held back from you. You will be blessed in the land. Because regardless of what comes, you still choose to get up and follow God. And this is the faith that is needed in the season and the season going forward. Get up and keep on going. Let us go into a time of prayer. Let us bow our heads together and begin by praising and thanking God. And as we discern His presence, then we'll begin to pray. And I trust, I know, I believe, I have faith that God will bless you. So in saying that, let us begin. Father, thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love towards us. Thank you that even in the toughest times, we can make it because you're with us. When we are weak, you are strong. When we feel like giving up, you give us strength to keep on going. And it is very possible as we believe and trust in you that even in the times when we are knocked down, we can get up, keep on going and win. We can get up, we can try again and we can be successful. We can get up, we can refuse to give up. We can believe you and receive our miracle. We give you praise and we thank you. For you are good and your mercy endures forever. Your grace is sufficient for us. You are our God and we trust, we have faith, we believe in you. We thank you for your wonder-working power, your deliverance-working power. We thank you that you make a way where there seems to be no way. And even today, you are fighting for my dear friend who's watching this video and you are making a way. It is never the end until you say it's the end. And you make a way for us. You help us in our weakness. You help us in our weakest times. You help us when we are knocked down to get back up. And you give us grace. Therefore give my dear friend grace to press on and to receive from you. I ask this in Jesus name. And I thank you for it Lord. Amen. My dear friend. As I begin to pray for you, I want to encourage you to comment and connect in faith. Be in agreement. There is so much power in agreement. The Bible shows us where two or more are gathered in agreement, the Lord is there. And where two or more agree on a thing as touching, it shall be established. So comment and agree and let God bless you and give you strength to get back up, to keep on going and to win. In saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Whatever situation my dear friend might be going through, whether life is good at this moment and my dear friend feels on top of the world, or if my dear friend is in a situation where they are facing a trial and they feel so discouraged, they feel like giving up, they feel like they don't have the strength to push on. Give my dear friend grace to get up, to keep on going, and to win. Help us to respond to all situations in line with your word, that your word may be lifted up, and even in the midst of our weakness, we may have strength to keep on going. We trust in you, we have faith in you, and even today we put our whole hope in you. We believe in your wonder-working power. We have faith. We are not simply just hoping aimlessly. But we have faith. Faith in you. Do what only you can do today in my dear friend's life. Give my dear friend strength to get up and to keep on going. And bring relief in my dear friend's life. Your word shows us clearly that your grace is sufficient for us, for your power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, we know that there is something there. Even in the midst of our weakest times, your power is there. Power to help us to get back up and to get out of that trial and out of that situation where we are knocked down. Power to bring deliverance. Therefore, bring mighty deliverance in my dear friend's life. Deliverance from all trials, from all hard situations. And give my dear friend a mindset that says, I will never give up, I will never give in. 
I will go for God and I will win. I will win in my purpose. I will win in my destiny. I will win in the place of employment. I will win in all areas of my life. Because I am more than a conqueror, as your word says. I ask this in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. My dear friend, repeat this after me and say it out loud and mean it. Say, I am more than a conqueror. Say it one more time. Say, I am more than a conqueror. Say it one more time. I am more than a conqueror. And my dear friend, even as you have said that, you shall be victorious. Go forward and win. Go forward and make progress. Go forward and succeed in all areas that God has called you to. Remember, the grace of God is sufficient. And therefore, you will make it through. In saying that, I will end this broadcast over here. But I'll be back again soon from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. God bless you and stay strong. Keep on going. Shalom and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.